Chaos Dwarf trains were nerfed in the 4.0 update. I don't remember the specifics of what they did. I just know that they were nerfed somewhat. I decided to test them against Human Boys, a brand new cafe here. Of course, utilizing some of the new units, he's got a couple of crowmen up in the sky, including the Regiment of Renown. Uh, he's also got some Jet Lions, two Jet Lions, one on each flank, supporting some Jade Lancers. They will, of course, give the Harmony attribute to those Jade Lancers and Onyx Crowmen as they kind of fight in a unit out on the flank. Very cool synergy. We'll see how well it does. He's also got a bunch of crossbows and some Peasant Archers, plenty of Jade Warriors, and a Dragon-Blooded Shooting Gun for myself. Coming in hard with Astrogoth Iron Hand, the uh, nerfed Iron Demon, some El Glacon's Wolf Boys, and some other Hobgoblin Wolf Riders scattered around here. Hobgoblin Sneaky gets on the flanks, and plenty of Laborers with two Infernal Iron Sworn for a nice, solid backbone. And of course, the Death Shrieker, which you're now seeing unleash some hell onto these Jade Warriors. It's hidden up behind the trees a little bit, just in case of counter artillery fire, taking advantage of that great angle that it uh, has to be able to fire in here. So let's watch, get some beautiful cinematic shots as these shots rain in from both sides. Crossbows and bows, rockets galore, orcs and goblins and chaos dwarfs and fans as well. Oh yeah, chaos dwarf train looking very cool. Ranged attack right now is just being used against the Jade Lancers as they try and get out on this flank, getting suppressed a little bit here. By that, so their speed is reduced. You also get an additional weakness to fire from the Wolf Boys, so you're pretty okay there, but I don't necessarily want to get the Wolf Boys charged, so we're going to have to pull them back. Meanwhile, on the front line, I'll cross and see the uh, Jade Warriors coming in contact with the Laborers. A little bit of Flamestorm in the back line from Astrogoth Iron Hand. Should be able to do some great anti-infantry damage with that. And, yeah, looks like the Wolf Raiders also charging in here. The regular melee Wolf Raiders combining with the Sneaky Gits to just finish off those uh, Jade Lancers. On the opposite flank, Sneaky Gits having a little bit of more of a worse time. In fact, significantly more of a worse time as the Jade Lancers and the Jet Lion, which has to be one of my favorite looking units of the DLC. Just that Jet Black Lion looking absolutely fantastic. Able to plow through some of my infantry, no problem there. Hobgoblins obviously won't stand up, but thankfully for me, the Iron Sworn should be able to stand for some time. We're gonna get the Iron Demon out in space here, hopefully with some labor support to try and pressure Jade Crossbows as uh, the Death Shrieker just continues to fire in on them as well. So got some nice pressure on all sides, but definitely taking some pressure as well. Oklahoma's Wolf Boys running through the trees here. Fleeing the Jet Lion. And the Jade Lancers. That is kind of pulling the Jet Lion a little bit uh, out of position, though, although we've still got two of them here. Decently strong single entities. They have a very strong melee defense in particular for a single entity like this, so they can definitely stand up to a lot of punishment. And it could potentially be a problem for me, especially as the range damage from the Death Shrieker is going to get shut down by the shooting gun there. But uh, in meanwhile, in the back line, the Demon Choo Choo. Combining with these uh, laborers. Human boy doing his best to focus them down. Crossbows. Uh, yeah, the, the obviously the Iron Demon specifically with the crossbows and the peasant archers. But a brutal flamestorm. I, I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to wait to see the patch notes officially. But it seems like flamestorm was potentially slowed again. Because that vortex is just moving remarkably slow. And it's actually able to just destroy several units straight up. But uh, meanwhile, Astrogoth unifying with some of his Infernal Iron Sworn as Jade Lion relatively singled out here and ready for him to come attack. So we're going to pop that Cascading Iron Cloak. Maybe? Nope. Looks like he's actually going to... Nope. Yep. There we go. <laughs> get a little self buff there. Increases armor piercing damage. Melee defense. Try and get in there. Do some damage to that Jet Lion. Meanwhile, we've got uh, some Jade Warriors just struggling with leadership there against some laborers. Got some cop goblins coming back from route, but Human Boy doing a great job chasing with his Onyx Chroman, getting a lot of my units off the field. Uh, yeah, I've got Oglacon's Wolf Boys still hanging around, still firing in. Doing some damage to that Jet Lion. Not really much, but it's, it's something, certainly. Meanwhile, the other Jet Lion's definitely struggling against Astrogoth. 
strong as they are, Astrogoth is also an incredibly strong single entity, even after nerfs after his DLC. And can definitely, with the Iron Sworn, take down this Jet Lion no problem. Yeah, I mean, 60 melee defense is pretty solid, but only 40 melee attack is going to struggle to hit Astrogoth's 50 melee defense. It just in general doesn't have that, all that much HP. All geez about the background noise, guys. If you can hear that, uh, got my window open because it's a nice, beautiful day here. Nice and steamy. Anyway, <laughs> maybe I'll just zoom in on the Chaos Choo Choo and you can pretend if you can hear it. I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to hear it, to be honest. But anyway, the Chaos Choo Choo, again, has been just running over these archer units in the back line, constantly terrifying them away, doing melee attacks. And uh, it's definitely taking damage in the process, but that terror kicking in. Doing a great job disrupting Human Boy's entire ranged contingent, along with a handful of support units. So Sneaky Gets also getting out there. But uh, Iron Sworn getting a little bit out of position. No, actually, there's this other unit that was close. Yeah, we got the unit up in the woods there, and then this other unit is going to be trying to push forward also and get at those Crossbowmen and Archers. Crossbowmen in particular with decent AP values would be somewhat dangerous. The Chaos Train. But uh, anyway, this is just going to continue for some time in a similar fashion. So let's zoom on over and watch these two Jade Lions and the Shugan Gun. They've managed to all get into a squad together for the most part. I mean, this one Jet Lion's not actually helping, but that is the most injured one. That said, 3v1, this is actually a very dangerous situation for Astrogoth to be in. So yeah, Human Boy really needs to stay the course and bring in this other Jet Lion, although one or two attacks from Astrogoth would probably finish it off, so it's not like it could do a lot, but it could do one or two attacks of its own. That attack animation's kind of interesting there in that the uh, Jet Lion actually turns itself around. Quite interesting. But Ogokan's Wolf Boy is going to desperately charge in to attempt an assist. Must immediately get routed off. No surprises there. And Astrogoth, facing danger, is going to utilize his speed, try and get out and get back towards the Iron Demon. Iron Demon's used up all of its ammunition. And I've got, uh, you know, some laborers possibly throwing these Iron Sworn as well to help keep the archers and crossbowmen back for the time being. Really just need another single entity for this fight, otherwise Astrogoth is going to get overwhelmed by numbers. He could finish the one jet line that's quite wounded. That was obvi obviously be quite helpful for me as well, but uh, the breath attack there, trying to route the hobgoblins, and then here comes the Choo Choo. Does decent damage in melee against single entities. It's certainly not necessarily meant for this, but the fact that it does help somewhat is going to definitely play in my favor here. Got some Iron Sworn protecting from any regrouping units as well. And uh, what it does do, especially, is distract some of the melee attacks from the Jet Lions to go into it rather than going into Astrogoth. That gives him a chance to then fight, you know, one of the single entities on a more 1v1 basis. He actually finishes that Jet Lion there, finally. Did some nice damage to the Shugengun Lord. And with that damage to the Cathayan single entities... Bounce power shifts pretty dramatically in my favor. You we'll see there a little jade shield on the uh, jet line to give it some damage resistance, but it's looking pretty futile at this point. All the archers and crossbowmen still just peppering the Iron Sworn, who are such a strong unit. Definitely one of the best infantry units in the game as it stands. But let's see here. Human Boy trying to snipe out the train. It's going to get some attacks as it's a little bit uh, singled out and away from these other supporting units. Nice Dragon Breath there. I mean, I say nice Dragon Breath. I think it actually does fire damage, so it's going to do relatively little because of the lack of armor piercing. Yeah, fire damage for sure. No AP is going to do almost nothing to the Iron Sworn, so definitely put himself in a tough situation in that way. Another flame storm going to be unleashed there, just to really send a message. And the jet line trying its best. It's a beautiful, beautiful kitten, but not enough, unfortunately, to win the day for Human Boy. So, it's definitely a fun one, have to say. Nice back and forth there. Thought I was on the ropes for a second, but that, uh, that old, reliable backbone of Inter Infernal Iron Sworn, I say old, a few months old. 
Uh, the Iron Demon as well, definitely looking pretty good right now. The nerfs uh, seems like it put it into more or less where it should. Like I, granted, I could have probably used it better there, and I'm sure some people will say so in the comments. But uh, honestly, it almost pays for itself. I think it's what like 1100 now, um, and almost dies, but still tactically very useful. A lot of damage value, so I definitely think it's not too strong, but much closer in terms of balance to where it needs to be. It's still usable, certainly. Um, the rest of the build here, Ogla Khan's Wolf Boys had some nice supporting action. The rest of the build kind of just gets run over. They're all mostly glorified meat shields and kind of support units, but that's okay. Astrogoth himself managing to uh, outduel these three single entities, given that he wasn't fighting them all at the same time for a sustained amount of time. Like, it was relatively short that he had to face all three together. Really nice value on these Jade Lancers as well, and of course... Roman, uh, one of the units at least cleaning up a lot of numbers of kills, the other one getting some really nice value. So Croman definitely should be a staple, and the combination of Jade Lancers, Croman, and then the Jet Lion to give them all harmony is actually pretty interesting. So even though the Jet Lions themselves didn't necessarily pay out full value, this one was pretty low at 407. But this one at like 700 plus support value on other units, you could argue that that ends up being worth taking. Ranged units, on the other hand, really struggled for Cathay on this one, unfortunately, as I had some pretty de decent answers for them. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that one. If you did like this, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button, and of course like the video. Uh, share it with a friend if you found it informative, interesting, useful, or anything like that. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.